you don't see them worshiping and excited about the things of God. Well, it bugs me. And God said to me, the reason that that they're not worshiping is that they're not lifting up their hands and praising God, and they're not worshiping me. Uh, you don't see the joy on their face or just the awe on their face. Is because they don't know me. Like a lot of people are saved. They ask Jesus to be the Lord of their life, but that's all. They haven't gone any further. They haven't gotten to know God. They don't have a relationship with God. What they see God is as, as a, a wicked stepfather, um, and not as a loving father. They see God as a judgmental and critical God. And God saying this to me. He says they see me as a judgmental and critical God. Uh, therefore, they're judgmental and critical, and, and they see me as a job. God is pointing at them and saying, don't do this, don't do that, don't do this. You did this, you did that. And they see the Holy Spirit as somebody who points out everything they did wrong instead of pointing out the righteousness that they are and everything they do right in Jesus. And because they don't have that personal relationship with me, God says, that they can't raise their hands and they can't worship because they don't intimately know me. And he wants you to come excuse me, to intimately know him and to have an encounter with him, to have a relationship with him. And so I just invite you today to not only make Jesus the Lord of your life, um, but to have an intimate relationship with him, to get to know him personally in every way possible because he's an awesome God and a good God. And then you'll be able to raise your hands and praise God and feel his manifest presence and feel his love. And I invite you to do that today. And Father, I just pray for these people, Father, that they would be able to know you intimately and personally and get on fire for you and that you would show them how to worship. In Jesus' name, amen. So my name is Robin Bremer. .net is a website. And I will talk to you tomorrow.